Test, and you should know the key by now, too. Yeah, yeah. Testing, test. Now I'm talking shit. Can y'all hear me? Hold up. Oh. Y'all hear me? I was, looking at, I was looking at the wrong the wrong thing. Testing, testing, one, two. We are back in the building. We are back in the building. Back in flip-flop sports ball in Sasua. Uh, I couldn't do Sunday service. I had a very bad attitude yesterday. I needed. I realized I need the gym a lot. Mama flipping the building. Y'all hit that like button. I realized I need the gym a lot. Like I was aggravated about something. And um, I said, let me get the hell out of here. So I just went home, turned my phone off. You know, I tell you, I got a bad temper. So sometimes I got to calm myself down to not flip on nobody. Um, at the end of the day, got to the gym this morning, feeling great. Things still ain't perfect. Things still ain't perfect, but feeling great. Back up, got my mind set back. Got, got my, got, you know, got my, my focus back. So I'm cool. I think I'm going to have to rely on the gym a lot uh, but to, to curb my attitude down or my temper down, excuse my temper. Uh, but we're back here, man. So I'm back in the building, back in Sasua after leaving Rio. Let me give you guys a heads up. Rio, as usual, is awesome. We will be back in Rio. We already decided we'll be back in Rio uh, the Wednesday after Thanksgiving. No problem. That's going to be our annual. We're going to do Rio probably three, four times a year. But that's going to be our annual trip after uh, uh, Thanksgiving. So that Wednesday after Thanksgiving, we'll be back in Rio pre-Christmas. Uh, it's a great time, great weather out there. So, you know, may go again, but I'm letting you guys know that's it. I'm not giving you nothing unless we book the date. So right now we're our, our trip that's booked at the moment. We got May 1st, um, Cartagena, May 1st to the 5th. Uh, excuse me. We got Las Vegas for Steve O's birthday, May 29th. And then uh, our Paradise Life Cruise, number second one, that'll be in July, July 7th. We're probably going to run around Columbia a little bit before the cruise, but I haven't decided that yet. All right. A uh, lot going on. So why am I traveling so much this year? Well, because I got a lot of projects going on. Um, so, you know, stuff I'll speak on as it as it progresses. But I don't know if next year I'll be able to do as much traveling. Definitely going to travel next year, 100%. But I don't know if I'll be able to do as much. A um, few opportunities coming my way. A lot of things happening behind the scenes. So at the end of the day, I chose this year since everything's in progression and not moving yet. A few things are moving, but not the big, the big, big stuff. Uh, let me make this 20 this year, 2024, the year Paradise Life. By the way, y'all got to see my fit. Hold on. Y'all got to see my fit. See the Knicks? So uh, big shout out to the bro. Oh, I'm going to turn this, turn this right here. see that. I, what they call it, drip? The kids call it drip? Turn this around. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah. Actually looking good. Looking good. Shout out to my Knicks. They lost in Miami, but the number two seed. The number two seed in the in, in the playoffs. All right, let me fix that. Let me catch you on these comments. Uh Levern was good with you. EJ the Dawn in the building. Uh EJ said, check the computer, gotta slow down on the great goose. The kidney levels went up. I'll be there tomorrow. Yes, I'm back drinking again. I might take another hiatus in August. I'll decide. But right now, as long as I'm in the gym at least three, four times a week, I'm feeling good. So I'm straight. DJ Below, go. What's good with you, bro? Polo Man Ron, what up? Trevor Guards, my homie B in the building. What's good with you? Ray Loyal, big shout out to Ray Loyal. This is my, I got my passport holder in the building. Close to have a meeting today with the bank. Hey, what's up, Bill? Um, Paradise Life. Get right fragrance, clean team. You already know. My guys. Hit that. Ray Lawyer, post that website if you don't mind, my brother. You know, I keep this on deck. That damn sure my favorite, my favorite cologne. My cool water sitting there in my crib getting lonely. <laughs> my cool water, like, hey, what's up, baby? And my polo, my polo, like, yo, collecting dust. <laughs> King Sam in the building. Tell Queen Sam I said hello, and I hope she's on her good foot. No pun intended. Yeah, pun intended. Yes. yes, Monday, all day happy out here, Flip Flop. Yeah, hey, hey, T hey DJ Beloco, number two C, baby. So I'm still, I'm still going to rock my neck, you know? I'll hold it down. Still going to hold it down. King Sam said drip 99. You already know. We dripping over here. Just got these kicks yesterday. Some of my man Mark Brown just got these kicks yesterday. I said, man, they, 
They perfected the trip. <laughs> Patrick Johnson, the building. What's good, brother? How you doing? Uh, CAB No Limits said, plan on bringing back the Sport Talk Show. Well, don't forget. Uh, I'm, 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 I'll make the thumbnails up uh, probably this week. Do not forget the annual uh, NFL draft. I missed it last year because of the problem with the um, the bridge. You have no fear. I am here. We're doing all three all, all three days, all the rounds. So I will be doing the uh, NFL draft. The sports talk, we might have to see. I'm going to have to start another channel for that. But you guys know I got to do my NFL draft. I've been studying, you know, eating my vitamins, saying my prayers. So it's all my hoaxers out there. You already know what I'm talking about. Uh, I don't got my chain on, so I didn't want to clip this to my shirt. Uh, Douglas Sanders said, people say Knicks getting the number two seed is the worst thing that could happen. I mean, we'll see, brother. I'm only worried about Miami Heat. And I, before we even went to the game in Miami, I told a couple of guys, I said, for some reason, the Knicks can't beat Miami. We can beat everybody else. We can't beat Miami. It's just the weirdest thing. Uh, that's probably the only team I'm worried about. Uh, but playoff time comes around. See what it is. You know what I'm saying? I believe in Brunson. Roger, what's good with you? Bermuda in the building. There we go. I got that link right there. Get right fragrance. I also want to say something. So I'm going to get to the comments, y'all. I got to give a big shout to Drake. Okay? A big shout to Drake. My new name is Drake Flop. All right? <laughs> oh, Flip Drake. Whatever you call me. Because they all go. Listen, when I tell you, hey, Dave, when I tell you that Drake reminds me so much of myself, had dudes that used to rock with him, team up and go against him, and he still win? Story of my life. So I was like five years old. I swear to God. Dudes, he, everyone he rock with trying to team up. That, that's when I say that the, the super friends of suckers get together, and then Thanos coming. So I made the comment that Drake is Thanos, right? On, on, it was on Instagram, I think. And someone said, someone said Thanos lost. I said, no, he didn't. You didn't watch the movie. Thanos won. Everybody died. <laughs> The next movie, they had to go back in time to try to stop them, and half the people, well, a quarter of the people still died anyway. Okay? Thanos won. Snap the finger, everybody dies. Don't get it messed up. They went back in time and tried to fix what happened. It was too late. And we still lost people. So at the end of the day, Drake Thanos, the whole crew. Now, you may not like the beat he rapped on, but I'll tell you right now, he killed him. And if you notice, the drop and give me 50. The 50 remarks are ain't that Rick Ross. <laughs> Yo, he did it so slick. I'm, I, I listened to it three times in the gym this morning. Like, wow. He, I, I went in the group. I said, guys, he finished them. He Mortal Kombat them real quick. But I got to give a shout to Drake because, uh, and then Uma Thurman put up her outfit and said, Drake, you need to hold this? Because he put this picture of her going against all, all the whole crew. Um, so, you know, everybody said Drake killing it right now. And I got much love for Drake, much respect for the homie. Uh, Rick Ross talking crazy, which is wild to me. But I got to give a shout to Drake because at the end of the day, that's, I feel like Drake. All the homies you rock with, did songs with, hold, uh, high fives, holding the bottles with, passing the bottles around, kicking it with. You know what I'm saying? They turn on you. They team up and turn on you with that. I'm used to that. And I handle the same way. Finish them. I ain't got nothing to do with none of that. I don't want no drama. I'm just doing what I do. <laughs> Uh, hey, Sus, what up? Hey, what's up? Long time no see. Shout out to you, hey, Sus. Sheldon Taylor in the building. Shout out to all the truckers. Definitely shout out to all the truckers. Benny in the building. Okay, pull up, Benny. I'll be, I know you're back in town. Definitely pull up. Rico Kimbro, what's good with you? Uh, hold on. Unruly Gambit, appreciate that. Uh, Super Chat, excuse me, it says, uh, what's going on, Flip? I appreciate you doing for the suit. I'm be coming over there this Friday. Hopefully, we can link up and chop it up. Definitely, 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 definitely. I'll be here. I'm, I'm, back, in, I'm back in town. So, we back. We back. Uh, I'll be here, so definitely pull up. I'm pretty much here every day. You know, if I leave a little early, it'll probably be around five or six, but I'm back. Got a lot going on, so I'm kind of back in the building, you know. Uh, and I definitely appreciate that unruly game. Theo, what's good with you? He said, Go New Year. It's definitely gonna be different. I'm excited with Brunson, baby. Vaughn Brown, appreciate that, man. I'm back. King Sam, yes, Team Light Skin is in the building. Team Light Skin is in the building. Hey Theo, Drake flop, flip Drake, whatever y'all listen. Add that Drake somewhere in my name. Cause man, yo, funny thing is when I saw all these people going against, I was laughing. I was like, I posted on Instagram. I said, I feel like Drake. Now this is before Drake's response. I said, I feel like Drake. Everybody that rocked with me, well, not everybody, but people that rocked with me said it was my homies, turned on me. And they teamed up to turn on me. They couldn't, they couldn't do it by themselves, so they teamed up. And then when Drake came back with this, I posted it. I said, man, I felt, now I feel just like Drake. 
they go against me, I'm by myself, and I still win. I'm just saying. If you listen to that Drake, does he hurt somebody's feelings? Real talk. He hurts my feelings. <laughs> Your light skin, we got to sit together. We all we got. Oh, uh, hey, Sue said, do you make all of your products or tell, I don't, what products are you referring to, my brother? Wing shot poppy. No, <laughs> I like that one. Oh, down the Uma Thurman post was crazy because she responded. She said, hey, Drake, you need the whole list? <laughs> when I saw Uma Thurman post, I was like, oh, it's, it's a wrap. Uma was like, you need the whole list, Drake? <laughs> uh, what's the name of that movie again? She gave the soup from, uh, Jesus, I forgot the name of the movie. Solo, what's up with you? And I appreciate it. I feel good to be back. Like I said, I kind of was off my off my timing with the lives in Brazil um, because I was just doing a lot. Uh, the boat party was uh, our first boat party in Brazil went amazing. Now, watch everybody try to do boat parties in Brazil. But our shit was off the hook. Can't be copied. Can't be duped. because our shit was lit. All right. Uh, it went great. It was amazing. We we'll definitely will do another one again. But the boat party in Brazil was sick. Like I told you guys, you're not going to see a lot of footage from me. I'm going to say it again. I'm not the guy to go around, walk around, showing girls, putting girls on camera. That's just not my thing. I got a lot of situations going on that I can't do that, unfortunately. But if you hang with me, oh, boy, <laughs> I can show you better than I can tell you. I ain't got to be on camera with chicks. Come hang out with me, me, and, my, me and my Paradise Life homies. You see how we get down. All right. My man was sitting there like, damn, Jesus, really like that. It's really like that. <laughs> I post little things on, on, on Instagram and stuff. But I try to have my face in it. Um, someone hit me the other day. Yo, you really know her? Come on, come on, five, stop it. Um, but I can't post a lot of stuff because my situations. And when I situations, I got personal business situations, relationships, certain things I can't be seen doing uh, because of those situations. You know, I can't have someone take a contract away from me because they'd be like, "Hey, you want you want a grand wilding, bro?" Like, no, nah, I can't do that. Audie, what's good with you? Sheldon said, I'll be back May 10th. Okay, definitely pull up. Travel guards, you already know. Team light skin, hashtag. Jerry Hawk in the building. What's up, Jerry? Dirty Wicked said, band flip flop, band team light skin, band Winston. Yeah, <laughs> book your Halloween. Definitely get your Halloween together. Listen, shout out to the bros. We done sold four rooms already while I was in Brazil. So shout out to the bros. You're ready for Halloween. Appreciate all y'all. He said, oh, yeah, maybe Grey Goose Poppy, right? Mm. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Mo music in the bill. Shout out Mo music booked to spot at Halloween as well. Uh, down to Brazil. Hey, Brazil. Listen, that's my second home. I love it. I mean, this is home. Dominican Republic is home. I love the people. Uh, the Dominican people. I hate y'all. Love everything about this country. Um, you know, even though I complain about business and stuff, which it is, you know, doing business here is tough because because there's just a lot of nuances you got to deal with. But I love the country. Love the people. Love the Haitian people. Dominican people. I love everybody here. So this is home. Yeah, I'm not going to change that. But Brazil is definitely, when, I like to go to Brazil more than most places, as you guys have probably seen, right? Um, so, yeah, we'll be back there in, in, uh, after Thanksgiving. And then, uh, like I said, we might pop up a trip between them, but definitely after Thanksgiving, we'll be there. Is it May, May and October? <laughs> Tony, two times. What up? Shout to you. Uh... Vaughn said, I've been trying to get down there. Everything against my income tax came late. Then I was booking my hotel and the earth happened. Got a toothache. Oh, hey, listen, listen, listen. T Mom, don't let that stop you, bro. Don't let none of that stop you. Those are called obstacles. Do never let obstacles sit you down. If you know what I'm saying? All right. My, my nephew's a, a hurdle, a, runs the hurdles, right? If he, if, he, if he falls over the first hurdle, he got to get back up to the next hurdle. Falls away, he got to get back to the next one. He'll never let the hurdles sit him down because he can't jump over them. So don't let none of that sit you down, bro. At the end of the day, overcome the obstacle. Keep keep going. That's just only words I give you for that because at the end of the day, shit happens. Life happens. You know, it's called life because you got to live it. And at the end of the day, don't let none of that stuff stop you. It, it, it does happen in bunches. You know, and it seems like the, the woe is me factor, you know. But uh, keep pushing, baby. Trust me, you'll get it. Don't even worry about it. Teddy, I see you. What's up? Halloween is definitely turned up. Uh, Dirty Worker said, for those of you who have not experienced P.O. Halloween, shaking my head, they don't miss. We don't We don't miss. Yeah, book now. It's we. You already know. Um, and big shout out to Dirty Worker. We had Paradise Life bumping in the club in Brazil. 
as well as outside. <laughs> Yo, Jay Wiggins, you get you get spins all over the world, baby. Um, next stop, we'll see. We're gonna get you spinning over there too. We'll be in Cartagena again in uh, May first, so it's gonna be lit. Uh, Vaughn said, "Imagine when you're booking your ticket and there's an earthquake." I looked around the room like I guess. Hey, listen, don't let see things like that. You start to convince yourself like it ain't supposed to happen, right? I'll tell you a funny story. It was not a funny story because it kind of messed me up a little bit. So for some reason, I found this page about plane crashes on Instagram. The weirdest thing, the weirdest thing is pulled up on my on my on my feed. So it was a it was a factoid of a something that happened like in the 60s with a plane. So I just have I guess I guess I pressed follow. I didn't realize I pressed follow. So I'm following them, whatever, right? And next thing I know, I see every plane crash in like the last 10 years as I'm scrolling through. Oh, what the hell? I ain't gonna stop getting on that plane though. And I hate flying. So at the end of the day, no, so you, you may feel like certain things happen for a reason. I was saying to myself, man, I just watched like seven plane crashes. I'm getting on that plane. <laughs> okay. I'm back. It is what it is. Uh, DJ, I've been got my visa, bro. I did a whole video about that, brother. I've been got the visa. I actually got two. They sent my money back for the first one, for the second one, excuse me. So yeah, I got I did my visa. I say it's better to do it, get it over with. SV the guard Boston in the building. He said, baby, he's saying save him on Halloween. That means he wants you to have a good time. Jesse Shorts in the building, Shy Town. Studio dude, what up? Uh Teddy, yes, 147. Marco, 147. Marco, that's his spot. Well, it's he, he shares the spot, excuse me. Um, I'm gonna pull up to Marco, tell him I said what up. Definitely shows us love. Free society in the building. Hey, free. How was that? How was that boat party in Brazil, my guy? Free was there. How was that boat party in Brazil, my guy? Free side. He came. Free side he came. That's my guy right there, man. After me harassing him for years to uh, come to uh, Brazil, he finally came. He said I threatened him, but I ain't threatened him. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> but it's definitely good to have my bro there, man. It's good times and all that. You know what I'm saying? Another thing. Um, at the end of the day, man, we are, how you guys doing? Uh, just having a good time, man. We had a great time. Now it's kind of back to business. Yes, the visa was pushed back to 2025, but they're not going to push it back again, they said. So, uh, Roderick said, where is the best location to buy an apartment or instead of, if they're really, that's a difficult question. There really is no best place. You know what I'm saying? You have to look and see the, the, the length of time it gets to get to downtown, all that. You kind of got to do your research as far as what areas you feel you would rent from. So it really is no best place, if that makes sense. Uh, Vonson, got to know your opinion on Colombia and these protests. Um, so, um, I'm glad you brought that up, my guy. Glad you brought that up. By the way, give a, you know what? Give me two seconds. Beach Viking, what up? Give me two seconds. Bring up Colombia in, in one minute. I want to tell you guys a story. So these are a couple things I had to deal with uh, while I was waiting as I got back. So I had a situation, and I'm going to get these wings in a minute, where someone, someone I guess, didn't like the color of my teriyaki wings, which is cool, you know, in terms of your opinion, but I asked, what does it taste like? Okay, I, I, don't, I don't have model food. Like some of these guys that go out here and they, they pay photographers and they get models. I, I, my food tastes good. That's what I, I, had to, I had to focus on two things. Good food or picture perfect food? I'll take the good food. No disrespect to the picture perfect food, but I think I want food to taste good better than look good, in my opinion. Okay. If it look good, cool, but does it taste good? So uh also had someone hit me up. They were like, hey, the I don't I didn't like these way. I said, How do they taste? Homie hit me, he's like, you know what? They were pretty good, they just didn't look good. I said, Bro, I don't have model food. You know, my food's not, not gonna be on the cover of oak, but it's gonna be good in your belly. So he was like, okay, that's cool. No, no, it just didn't look like it would, how it would taste. I said, nah, that's why I asked you how it tastes. So when it comes to my food, I apologize if it doesn't look model material, like the IG photos and all that. I mean, all my photos are real. But like you go on IG and they, they fake the photos. Listen, I just try to make good food. Now, to, to the Karen, I'm going to say this to Karen. I had a Karen the other day. So her complaint went on about how first uh, the girl didn't understand, didn't know the prices of the stuff. Well, to answer that, Karen, she was training. I'm going to give you guys a tip. And when you go out, if you have friends you go out with, there's any way in the world. When you have friends you go out with, and the first thing they ask is how much is a beer or a Coca-Cola, they're going to nitpick. I know that from experience. 
So the first thing she asked the girl was, how much is a beer? The girl said, oh, give me a second. Let me find out. Because she's new. She had, I, I haven't even met her yet. She's new. She just started. So she's training. They put her on her own to go take the, take the drink order. But the lady said, hey, how much is the beer? And then she went, how much is this? How much is that? And I already knew what it was. I'm like, because I went in the camera and watched based on what my staff told me. And I can see the lady there asking a million questions. And the girl's like, give me a second. Let me go get someone else. Because, you know, she doesn't know. She honestly doesn't. The lady goes, hey, she didn't know anything. Cool. I'm training somebody. I bet. Then the second thing was, then the girl who came and took my order acted like she wasn't interested and was waiting for another group to come in. All right. So I went in the camera and I looked. The lady took seven minutes. Seven minutes to order two tacos. So the girl's standing there trying to help her with what she want to order. And then the girl's like, you know, she's not going to leave the table because she's waiting for her to order. So she's standing there. Uh, I would kind of stand there too, tapping my feet, like, well, what do you want? And the lady, oh, well, uh, what's the, uh, what's, you know, you kept doing that, which is cool, but you spent all that time to order two tacos and she's waiting for you to order. So at the end of the day, I respect it. Like I said, I'm not giving, I'm not giving excuses. I'm just saying what I saw compared to what, it, what, was, what was put on the post. Then I uh, was told that the, uh, what is the word? The bathroom key was just handed. Well, my staff, when they hand you the bathroom, they say, hey, the bathroom's right over there. If they can, they walk you. As the bathroom key was handed, people were busy. They couldn't just walk up to the bathroom, which if my security said, he'll walk you to the bathroom. So I, that was kind of weird. I'm like, you know, some people want extra service, which is great. Then it was the taco meat was cold. Now, as soon as I saw that post, the first thing I did was order a taco on the phone. No one knew it was me. Ordered a taco. Came, picked it up. The tomato and lettuce was cold. You have to keep tomato and lettuce pretty cold. But the meat was hot. So I said, okay, we apologize. You know, of course I'm apologize. I just got to give my retort because I'm saying to myself, these are the reviews that the reviews that people and when I went back to her review history, oh she had like 25 reviews, 23 were bad reviews. So these are the people that I have to deal with. That of course we can't please them. There's no way you can please them. They complain about everything. But at the end of the day, we try our best to please them. But and then it was uh the funny comment was, I guess it's not welcome to flip flop for everybody. I was like, oh man. So stuff like that I deal with. It is what now if we give bad service and bad with the food, we will 100 I one of us eat that. One of us I will I'll be like, yo, it was our fault. But when certain things aren't things that I can control, like you don't like the color of something, I did you taste it? You know, then when you taste it and you go, man, no, this was good. Well, you wanted model food. I, there's other spots in town, other spots in the world got model food. But if you want good food, that's what I provide. All right, let me get to these comments again. And now let's go to Columbia. Hold on. Someone mentioned Columbia. Right, Columbia. Okay, give me one second, Vaughn. I'm going to go to Columbia right now. And the boat part of you are coming soon. You saw free. Ty Law, what up? Jesse said, question, should be where what you can afford location wise. Yeah, what you can afford, but also what you think is convenient. See, here's the thing. If you're going to do Airbnb, think to yourself, would you rent it? Would you drive there? Would you take a taxi there? Would you walk from there? What is it near? What does it buy for you? I would think like that as a customer, which is how I built this bar. I would think as a customer. Will I get people to stay at my spot? Will they feel comfortable walking to this restaurant, walking to that bar, getting food from here, taking a taxi over there? That's kind of what you got to think. That's my personal opinion. Uh, Ralph, what up with you? Hey, what's up, big dog? Ralph, what up with you? Philly definitely in the building. Uh, just said, teriyaki wings sound good. I had them on the menu for a while. The new menu should be out next month with the with the chopped cheese on it, as well as the um, the peanut butter habanero wings. We're on a new menu right now. Yeah, you can't please everyone, but you know it, it's stuff like that where you go like, no matter how hard someone tries, sometimes you know that person just. I've literally had people. Well, I remember we first the second year we were open. This dude was like, I don't like this jerk chicken. I like my jerk chicken a certain way. But I said, I told you it's not spicy jerk chicken. It's normal jerk. I don't, I don't do the spicy. Well, I like it spicy. Well, I kind of did tell you it's not. Like, I literally told the guy it's not spicy. Yeah, I want it. But then when he eats it, he goes, it's not spicy. Well, I, I told you it was spicy. So I'm used to it. And I said, as long as people don't get out of hand, respect for the staff, it is what it is. Um... So what is the secret? What is that? Yeah, I don't know, man. It is what it is. Free seven, yeah, but hashtag boycott flip-flop. I want to tell you said I want a 20 piece. 
So let's get into Colombia. So big shout to all the Christopher Colombians. I want to say something. I don't want to hear know how to move. I'm done with that phrase because it doesn't work anymore. I don't want to hear how long you're a vet. Because I'm going to tell you right now from the from the flip from the from the I've had it. I was a flip flop's mouth. I can't see a horse's mouth. I got guys that been there 15 years. I got guys been there years. We got drugged and robbed. Okay. Medellin, Colombia, but Medellin specifically, I like saying that word, is throwing y'all under the bus. Y'all are not the tourists they want. I'm going to say this again for the people in the back. Hear me loud and clear. When I keep hearing people say, oh, they met someone so black women come, that no one's messing it up. Go into a travel agency, bro. Tip, pity pat your feet. Skilly bop bop. Into a travel agency. And watch what's on the wall. There's no Americans holding hand with Colombians. It's black women on the wall. In the mud, in the mud pit. On the beach. Walking, walking through the, the, the uh, wall city. They're not catering to y'all. Ain't no place in this world ever catered to dudes going to smash. Nobody. They don't want to promote it. It, it, it exists. It, 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 it happens. But they're not doing it for you. So at the end of the day, they threw y'all under the bus. And they said, oh, uh, guys getting killed, guys dying, guys getting drugged. We don't care about that shit. Um... Oh, I didn't see these fellas over there. Uh, we don't care about that. And they don't. I'll tell you when my homeboy Nick died. The, the response was, oh, he had a lot of girls in and out of his house. So they have to investigate. They do not care. It's becoming a black eye that so many people are getting drugged and robbed. It's becoming a black eye. So they decided to shut it down. Now, for you guys that don't know, Medellin is so much bigger than Parker Yeres, you know. But if you hang a Paradise Life, you'll know that. Same as we was having so much fun in Cartagena and no one knew what was going on. But we'll be there May 1st. And if you want to pull up, you definitely can hang with us and see what it really is. Um, so, you know, with, with Columbia, you got to understand something. They're not catering to you, to anybody. You know what I'm saying? None of these countries really catered, catered to, I guess, mongers. You know what I'm saying? Which if, if, that, if you are a monger, I'm just saying. They don't cater to that. They cater to tourists. Not guys who go eat bologna sandwiches and, and get a case of water for the crib and cereal. They cater to people who go out and, and, and support the locals, support the businesses, whether it's expat or local. Just support. You go outside and spend some money. You do excursions. You, know, you do tours. They, they pay, they, those are tourists. I, I know people don't want to hear it, but I'm, I'm sorry it's the truth. Because I was the guy years ago who said to myself, our money means a lot. No, it actually fucking don't. Like when I, when it when it got down to the degree and I saw numbers and businesses, I was like, "This club right here depends on our money. The rest of these guys don't. It actually it, it, it would it defeat the purpose to depend on that dollar because it doesn't last long. You know, I'll explain that in another live. Let me get to these comments. Dashim in the bill of South Jersey said they don't have common sense facts. Uh, just Columbia's Columbia been that way for years. Just be careful. That's the thing, Jesse. Columbia been this way. Oh, everybody just putting it on social. Columbia, listen. If you ain't been in Columbia more than ten years, be quiet. I'll give you matter of fact. I'll give you a little leeway. If you ain't been going to Columbia more than five years, be quiet. Cause all this been going on. But all the websites I was on, all the OGs that was going to Columbia way before me, used to always talk about the stuff. It was always going on. Social media made it more prominent. It gave it a face. It gave it a name. This stuff was going on, man. So at the end of the day, this ain't new. It's just that now, since the social media is everywhere, the, the authorities are tired of it. They don't want to be known for it. What happens if you're known for tourists dying and being drugged and robbed? Other tourists won't come. Kind of, it's kind of not scientific. They ain't rocket science. Uh, Vaughn said, "What's the gym like down there?" I have a great routine. Yeah, gyms. Do got a few gyms. Triggs, what up? I ain't been to Costa Rica in Costa Rica in July. Enjoy that. Sweet Spanish now said, man, I just had to jump on some ninjas in a chat group. This ain't about the same topic. Yeah, I mean, but you got to understand something. Medellin's been out for me because I don't care about drugs or crackhead chicks. No disrespect to my guys, but I just don't. And there's nothing you can tell me about that, okay? 
Um, I'm not into drugs. I'm not into chicks that do drugs. I'm not into chicks that smoke cigarettes. So, you know, it, I'm, I'm kind of weird like that. Certain things I'm just not into. And I know a lot of guys go down there. I, I, I got friends that's down there. They go down there, yeah. Free drugs everywhere. Not free, but you can use drugs everywhere. Everybody using drugs, getting highs. That's a long story. And a lot of guys will lie to you, tell you what they want to tell you. But listen, it is what it is. I don't care. It's not my cup of tea. I, I gave up. I'll still go to media once in a while, but I like Cardiac a little bit better. Got the beach, a little more to do. Venezuelans. Okay, so you know what I mean. Uh, Douglas said, you know they say the same thing about the suit. They don't want us there. That's a whole lot, Douglas. Let me tell you who says they don't want us there. The drunk uncle at the end of the bar who's been telling you the beach is going to change. The bridge will never be built. The town is going to change. That's the same guy. Same guy at the corner of the ball. And I'm not going to throw anybody a us. I'm not going to say what he is, who he is, but it's that same drunk uncle who said that the sewer is going to change. He's been saying it for 20 years. Because some one of y'all smashed his favorite though. Trust me. And it, they, they don't focus on what we want, if that makes sense. They focus on tourism like every country focuses on tourism. They don't care if you like classicos. Okay, that's the thing. They're not like, if we go classical, our, our tourism going down by 10%. This country is literally neck and neck with, with Mexico right now with all the tourism they got. So that, they're not going to say, oh, the guy's not coming. If Costco closed, they don't care. So but what I'm saying is they want everybody to come down. But the guys who only focus on the one thing, that's not a priority for any country. No country. Uh, just said, nah, Flip, not about catering for guys. Just smash it with tourism overall. Yeah, they're going to cater to tourism. That's what I'm saying. They're going to cater for real tourism. Not guys coming down to get some buns. That's not tourism, guys. Compared, you, you are considered a tourist on paper, but you are not you are not the tourism that they they want, like the guys that come spend money in the country. Just because you take your cheek at a dinner, you're not a tourist. I'm just gonna put that out. You know, I think you I, I've been in tourism meetings, okay? And you are it, it is so wild when I learned this. The dynamic that some guys think they're so big is this big. It's this big. It's weird when I, when I, when, it, when it's, the numbers are shown to you, and as a, as a tourist myself and as someone that travels, I realize like man, we can have fifty guys. If fifty, I'm talking about uh, what uh, what if, if fifty guys are out right now in another country, and everybody's just buying buns, yeah, we may go to dinner here once, may go over here get a drink, may go over here get lunch, but that's it. Everything else is focused on buns. Airbnb guy got his money. No one else really got made any money in the whole town. You know? And when I say, all right, you know why there's so many salesmen on the beach, all the beaches you go to around the world? Because the tourists buy the stuff. I know because I be buying stuff. And I watch my guys buy. I watch people buy stuff. The tourists will buy little trinkets. I had the, uh, her, not this, this is my Paradise Life Brazil. Um, I had a little Brazil chain made, the beads made. Shit like that. Stuff that you probably don't even think of. Ma I buy magnets. And magnets. That's I'm buying. I'm, I'm supporting the local, the local uh, market. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is. But at the end of the day, Colombia is still a dope place. It's just you got to understand. There, someone said we should boycott uh, Colombia. That's what they want. <laughs> that's exactly. They'll be like, yes. They'll actually help you boycott Colombia. <laughs> like that's what they want. Because the money that, that some of the guys bring in is not what keeps the economy up. Remember, Colombia just started tourism like six years ago as far as promoting tourism. They didn't care about promoting tourism. It wasn't they Colombia good? Um, they just started promoting like I got some of my eye, like six years ago. And the people they're promoting to are the people that comes, the families, people that come spend money. And you ain't gotta believe me. I, I've been in these meetings. I've you know I've seen these things. I, I, I know what I'm talking about. Gary M, what's good with you? Free society said case of water, bologna, and, and cereal. Yeah, that's weird. You are definitely not supporting the economy by buying that, bro. Jesse said pandemic proved a lot of places rely heavily on tourism. Now the type of tourism subjective. That's 100. percent But also, what the pandemic did was prove to businesses which tourism is more important. Okay, that's what it did. Because the businesses that rely on uh, what, what is it? Uh, that's still doing. Boozy, 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 boozy. Hopefully, I don't get uh, blocked. They not around. They not around. 
But the businesses that relied on good service, good food, good drinks, where they like every business, beach, beach bars, all that stuff, they still here. You gotta, you gotta understand that. There's a difference in in in, in a type of tourist. And I don't care what type of tour. I'm just giving you the facts about tourism. And Colombia is one of the first countries to say we do not care. We buy you some buns, sniff you some tussy. A lot of y'all never heard what tussy was until Puff Daddy got accused of using it. <laughs> a little bit tussy. Not me. I'm saying the guys be like, a little bit tussy. That shit weird to me. NYC King in the building. Shout to the bro. We know he alive. Proof of life right now. Uh, support the channel. Get a like. So appreciate you, bro. Yeah, Trevor. No, a 12-pack of beer. Oh, Corona, that motherfucker went the most expensive thing in the store, but won't spend money nowhere else. And, and, and the funny thing is, there's no knock on you doing your barbecue at your crib, buying your own food, getting a chef. That's cool. There's no you're supporting the economy because you got a chef. That's cool. I'm so they, they, listen, there's so, and some of the guys are watching this now, like, I can't stand this nigga flip. There's guys who come in here, buy sandwich meat, cereal, and walk around with a bottle of water or a bottle of uh, liquor in a bottle of water all day long. I'm telling you for a fact. Uh, you, and some of you guys do it. And there's no knock on it. But you guys who are the majority, believe it or not, you are the majority, do not support the towns, the people. You know how many guys come in here with a bottle of water full of liquor? And they're sitting there like, yeah. And people are like, hey, you need, you know, my, my staff, you need, you need something, you want something, you need something, you want something? Mira, no mas cambio. You want to see the cambio from here? No mas cambio, this first hour. Um, I've, I've seen it here. No mas cambio. Yo tengo mucho. Uh, Blade Runner, that's a fact, Blade Runner. You already know. And, and what's good? He said, What's up, Flip? I haven't seen you since Thailand at the Golden Tiger. And big shout to Dante. I'll be a Golden Tiger soon. <laughs> Definitely be up there soon. Hey, DJ with Booger Sugar, the, 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 the pink stuff, call it what you want. And you know I speak my mind. Nobody gonna shut me up, so I don't care what nobody gonna say. And you know what's funny? I remember one time I broke down Columbia like a couple years ago, and two of my dudes who are super Columbia vets literally hit me and said, "You hit that shit on the head." I said, "Bro, I know. I'm not. I'm not blind to this shit. I'm not here lying." And then some of these dudes, it's funny because some of these dudes, you'll see, you'll see your man just died from a drug overdose, and be like, "I'm going back. I die for this shit." I'm like, "What the?" Two people posted that on, on Facebook. I die for this. I'm like. Yo, wow. But that's also the mindset. It's the world we live in today. Common sense just don't make sense no more. All goody in the building. Shout to the bro. Uh, Jay Maximus said, hey, bro, I met you about five weeks ago at your bar. You seem like a real good guy. We'll be back later this year. We'd like to grab a drink and chat. Cheers from Canada. Jay Maximus, definitely know where you're pulling up. I'll be here. With I'm back to drinking, so we can have that drink. 100%. Uh, por favor. Definitely had that drink, brother. I just took a little hiatus. I might take another hiatus in August, so we'll see. But yeah, definitely pull up. Uh, Alethis de Teriyaki? No, Seis Teriyaki. Idame Seis de Buffalo. No, Papa. Oh, give me a Grey Goose. Un Yellow. You want a shot? New shot? Grey Goose con Un Yellow. I know, no tengo vaso. Is it yes, for no, no papa I'm gonna get some teriyaki now. Like I said, my color might be a little off, but uh, buying the cheek of the stove and never is not tourism. <laughs> That's simpism, yeah. You, well, you are supporting the local markets because you went there and bought the thing. J. Clyde, but let me. Uh, so here we got my guy, J. Clyde, right? He's in Colombia all the time. I, I want to blow him up. Him and Greg are in Colombia all the time. They always joke how unsafe it is, but they, but they having a great time. If you know what you're doing, you don't have to worry about parking errors. There's a lot of things you ain't got to worry about. I've been all around. That's more Medellin and Cartagena. My biggest thing with Medellin, I've been there so many times, and I've done the tours. I've done everything. I'm kind of like, uh, if, if I'm not, like, daytime is boring for me in Medellin. But for me, I, I see guys who, who love it. Like, for me, I'm like, if, I ain't, if you ain't smashing every five, which I don't, if you're not smashing every five minutes, I think it's boring. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Well, they, they, they don't think it's boring. I'm like, I'm, I'm not with that. You know what I mean? I travel during it. Salute my guy, Dave. My bro. I'm back. What's that line in um, John Wick? Yeah, I think I'm back. <laughs> but you got my guys who have a great time in, in Medellin, a great time in Cartagena, no issues. Why is that? 
because they do things their way. They don't worry about what. See, the problem with when you try, the problem when you travel, it, it, it breaks something down for you. This is why I tell you guys, you should join the Paradise Life trip because you, we, I'll show you different things. We'll show you different things. Most of you guys and ladies as well, because some of you ladies are watching do the same thing. Y'all go to the same spots. Everybody came to school, went to Costco. That was it. Went to Costco. That was it. I got guys still ain't seen the beach yet. Everybody went to Maine, went to Buccaneers. Everybody went to Carter Hayden, went to Space. And uh, the other name, the club. I forgot the other one. I was. You only went to the spot that the Negroes, and I'll say knee, knee, my knee, Negroes told you about. That was it. You didn't explore any other spots. There was a bar in, I'm not going to call it a white bar. It was more like a, more like a, a, a techno rock bar, but they played a little hip hop. Down a block from space that I thought was fucking awesome. One of my most favorite times, but we, before we, we we stopped in that spot and before, before space. So I said, we all go to space. Let me hop in here real quick. Met some um, Ecuadorian girls, kicked it with them. This was a while back, years ago. And this shit was lit. Standing room only, but it was lit. Y'all wouldn't go in there. Even my man was kind of like, yo, why you want to go in? I said, bro, look at First, we got these Ecuadorian. One was a DJ or some shit. I'm like, let's go in and check this shit out. Went in there, that shit was dope as hell. Got in the space, so we already had a VIP in space. Got in the space, I kind of like, man, I want to go back to that spot. Y'all don't step out of y'all box and see different shit. 20, 70 in, in, in Medellin. Dope shit to do. Now, you got to be safe, obviously. But there's mad dope shit to do. Y'all just focus on what everybody does. The reason I have so much fun is I step out of all of that. I start doing my own thing. Don't tell me, oh, that's the spot? Okay, I'll check that out later since I know that's the spot. Y'all go where everybody tell y'all to go. Try different things. I'm going places in DR that Dominicans be like, you going over there? I'm going places in Brazil that Brazilians be like, man, that's far. I'm going places in Colombia. Colombians are like, you sure? You sure you want to go there? Prince not seen in that building. Trying, baby. Trying. So, you know, we step, we step out of the box, man. Um, oh, Thailand, only going to 808. Man, I couldn't stay in 808. And no disrespect to 808. I was, I was going up, I was going up until I found, I went to, the tunnel was my favorite spot on, in, in Pattaya, in Walker Street. So y'all only going to the spots that people talk about, but let me go find another spot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the spot that the brother owns around the corner from 808. That's why I was there. I'm going to the other spots. Just the spots that everybody go to, that's just kind of corny because everybody there. Y'all all kissing cousins in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to kiss somebody on. I ain't trying to kiss no cousins. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. By the way, new show coming up this week. Condoms. I'm going to put it, I'm going to leave it out there. I'm going to schedule it. You make sure y'all subscribe. Hit that, hit that notification bell. The show is called Condoms. An uncomfortable truth. Tune in because I'm going to talk my shit and it's going to hurt a lot of people feelings. We'll get to that later. Joe said plomo or plata. <laughs> Big shot, Blade Runner. Yeah, no, many is cool. I just kind of grew out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's, not, it's nothing like I'm better than anybody. I got guys still doing Medellin real big. I just grew out of it a little bit. And the daytime to me was kind of boring. So, Carter Hayne, I could, I could get it. Y'all don't sleep like that. So, I get up early, run the streets, bar hop, go to the beach. You know what I'm saying? It's a little different for me. Gary Jones in the building. You have a great day. Ken Padmore, what's up? He said, facts. Um, Douglas said, it doesn't benefit tourism, but it, and it benefits the renters and the economy because she gets have more buying power. To a point, Douglas. To a point. Okay, to a point if they spend in the money. Okay, to a point. There's always going to be renters. There's always going to be buyers. Okay, at the end of the day, the funniest thing I ever told somebody, and I think I said this on a lot previously, they were like, man, there's so many white people and families down here. I said, bro, you thought they just popped up and bought, bought condos and villas? They was here on vacation like you. And they were here before you. You think people went online and said, I'm going to buy that house in Casa Linda. And you moved in and bought your house and you was like, oh, man, there's white people here. Well, they, they were on vacation too, fam. It'd be weird. Like, how you think, how you think they got here? They were on vacation hanging out. So they liked it. It's always going to be buyers, always going to be sellers. Any country you go to. A lot of people are buying in Colombia now, which I think is dope. So at the end of the day, the Chica economy ain't going nowhere. I'm talking about all these countries. The Chica economy is going nowhere. What they wanted is a little bit of more hush-hush. That's it. That's all they want. 
They're not saying you got to get up out of here. They're saying we don't want to hear about you getting drugged. Stay off Tinder. We don't want to hear about you get, getting robbed. Stop messing with this. Stop messing with these little hood rats. That's what they're saying. We ain't got time to investigate this. You supposed to be having fun, climbing the mountain, going to uh Commuter 13. Stop doing the same shit that everybody, every Negro doing. And when I say Negro, I mean men and women. Negro I mean like me, like the word knee and grow. That's my little slick shit. Um, that's all they're saying. Stop doing the same thing. Everybody before you was doing it got trucked and robbed. I know how to move, son. Yeah, well, guess what? Woke up without your shit because you know how to move. The excursion, the sales, yep. As we said, Columbia does so much to say they don't want American black without saying it. At the end of the day, that's a fact. They're saying it without saying it, but look at the majority of the guys that are getting robbed and drugged. I, I mean, I mean, all right. I said it before. There's, I, I'm, it was two. It was two. Now I'm in three groups. Three groups. Talking about getting drugged and robbed in, 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 in Medellin. Not Columbia. In Medellin. Three. Now, I'm on there daily because it's, it's on my Facebook feed. If you see the amount of people that get drugged and robbed that's not reported, they just say, hey, this guy, we found this guy on the street. He didn't know where he was. He didn't know his name. And somebody sitting there. He's not dead, but he might as well be a zombie. I see that almost every day. Now, all the you got to understand, so for all the druggings and robbings, now you got to report deaths, all right? But for all the drug, druggings and robbers, you don't have to report that. You do not have to report that. So if someone's embarrassed, they lost a bunch of money or something, they're not reporting that. They're not reporting that. Uh, Jay Class said, luckily I work during the daytime. It's not much in the daytime, Medellin. That's my point. And I, me, me and you had to talk on the beach. Um, I, that's not my only thing with Medellin. To me, the, I love the nightlife's great. But I ain't got nothing to do before 6 p.m., so i am lose my damn mind, you know. I will be back in Medellin. I'm just not Russian, you know what I'm saying? I'm not Russian. I'm Irish, you know. Uh, we're working on that, Mo. We're working on that right now. BMT Travels in the building. Uh, he said, F Medellin. It's all about Santo Domingo. Hey, you know, I love DR. P-Man said, I'm so inside right now. <laughs> yeah, Delirium, Dos Severe. But no, the club I'm talking about was down the block. It was actually in the cut in the little corner, but we went upstairs. That shit was lit. I forgot. That was a long time ago. I forgot the name of that club. It wasn't one of the, the main ones. It was out of the way. And it was more um, Caucasian, Colombian, a uh, few tourists in there. But this shit was lit. Like lit. I, we actually left. I'm going to show my man G. We actually left. And I was like, I want to go back in there. Shit. That shit was lit. But a lot of guys won't go in that spot. They wouldn't go in there. Definitely big shout to BMT. Yeah, delirious hip hop. Uh, Jay just said most are always going to visit the most popular and talked about places for sure, and th and that's and that's my thing. That's my thing. Go check out the popular joints, everybody. That's cool, but step out of the, step step out of the off the beaten path and see. Son, how do you think I've done so much that I've done? Everybody says go to the left. I'm gonna go left. Let me go right first and see what's over here. Then when I go left, I'll see what you're talking about. If Everybody go there. I don't want to go there right away. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but if my mother's on this live, I've just been a different kid my whole life. If everybody do that, if everybody smoke, what, what they, if everybody smoke crack, you gonna smoke crack? If everybody jump over a building, you gonna, I, my mom's always told me that. And so, nope, I'm not doing that. I never been like everyone else doing it. Nope. I actually got in trouble because they were like, "Why do you do this? Why do you?" Like my, my, I told my daughter, "Why do you do this?" It's like I'm your kid. Oh, no, no said. You know. So I, my mom would be like, why are you doing this right now? I, no, no, no. Everybody else over there, I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? It's like, if everybody smoke crack, you going to smoke crack? Think about it, man. Y'all doing what everybody else do. I ain't got time for what everybody else doing. Focus on this guy right here. BMT Travel. And big, big shout to Black Man Travel. Big shout to uh, Passport Bros. Big shout to Paradise. I appreciate you, my bro. Roger, I personally have not because I really don't care. If, you know, I had uh, animal science in high school. I don't care for monkeys anymore. Um, but my, my mom's went there. A couple, I sent a couple over there. Shout out to Free Society. Went to Villa Mimosa. I finally got into Villa Mimosa. <laughs> and he, it was everything I told him it was. I said, don't touch nothing. Don't hug nobody. Nothing. He was like, Sodom and Gomorrah. I, I, I got to take all the homies there at least once. I took Free there. He was like, I said, told you, bro. I call Villa Mimosa in Brazil, Sodom and Gomorrah. But it, it's something to see. Like, I take God's there. You can see it. See what it's worth. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's dope. Hey, Mia. Uh, opponent, I keep. 
Huh? Oh, give me ranch. Now I want to show the. Uh, give me. I'm gonna show you guys. This is teriyaki, right? So that one's yellow. That one's yellow. Come here. Me the, look. So this is the teriyaki. See the color? So I was told my teriyaki is too dark. To me, that's delicious, and it's just the color I use. And that is the buffalo. Always good. More. Pony on. Pop out the aluminum. So like, that's my teriyaki right there. Hey, take it, take it, take it. Um, that's my teriyaki. Allegedly, he didn't like the color, but it's delicious. He never, oh, shit, sorry. He never had a complaint. So, you know, it's what it is. I'm not going to eat that now. I'm having my first drink of the day. My first drink back in the, uh, Maybe uh, a week later. Bro, he said, so BMT yeah, Travel, he's been there many times. So I actually hate 808. Yeah, I can't stand And I'll tell you my story, 808. I call 808 the, 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 the nigga club. That's all they care about. I can't see that comment. Give me one second. But Fle yeah, Flex, that's the name of Flex. Flex and, Flex and Gold. Shout out to Dante. Golden Tiger, I'm always there. I got to check in with Dante all the time. I just spoke to him the other day. They're down there in Song Crane having a ball. Don, I'm always going to be at Golden Tiger. I, I don't woke Dante out of bed like, hey, I'm at, your, at the spot. Can we get some liquor? You know what I mean? Um, flex. I fuck with Flex. And it stays late in Flex. Let me take it. Point out, keep on. Um, big shout to Big Boss. He was in there one time, five in the morning. I'm like, all right, I'm coming. I'm like, fuck it. Let's go. Uh, and then, like I said, I like the spot, the tunnel. The tunnel was real dope to me. I like the vibe. They treated us really nice in the tunnel. So, you know. At the end of the day. Y'all don't like it. I'm, I'm like... I ain't saying I ain't gonna go to 808. I go because my some of my friends like shut up my man big time. A couple of my dudes in there. I told them what happened the night before. They were like, nah, come on, bro. I said, cool, I'll go because of you. But I don't rock with that spot. You know. Still, like I said, I'm still gonna have fun regardless, but I kind of made a deal. I said, if I come at 808, you gotta come to tunnel with me. Oh, flex. He's like, bet. So I went in to check my peoples out, bumped into a lot of more of my peoples from Sasua, and then uh went to other spots. But yeah, I'm not a fan of 808, you know. I feel they try to get over on you, and they want the brothers to spend all their bread. So that's another story. Uh, Joel said, I tried a new spot in South Africa. Definitely making plans to get to Africa, 100%. Oh, you fly there from Thailand? Nice. BK Chef. Dudes that ain't never had buns before. That's a whole nother story, BK Chef. Whole nother story. <laughs> I'm going to need y'all to tune in. I don't know what day. It'll be Wednesday, Thursday night. I will do a nighttime show. Uh, condoms. I po I'll post it up when I decide the day and time. That's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> uh, George, what up? I can't stand that. You need to know how to move argument. It's it, And that's the thing, George. I, 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 the need to know how to move was a thing before, right? There was a thing before. But as you start to realize... Everybody don't know how to move. And you telling me how to move is contradictory to how I move. Does that make sense? So if we didn't grow up the same, I can't tell you how to move. I can tell you what to look out for, but everyone has to move in their own way. I don't care who, who you are, where you're from. We go like my man, my man uh person I seen right here. How he moves won't, won't always work for me. How I move won't always work for him, but we can feed off each other. But I can't tell you how to move because there's no one way to move. So I, I totally, I kind of got that know how to move shit out of my head. And that's why I hate saying it. I say to the point of you got to know how to move. You personally should know how to move on your own merit. Because how I move ain't going to be the same. I move reckless as shit. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? What I do is dangerous as fuck. But, I, but if I die, I die. So you know what I'm saying? Like when I, I went to certain hoods, right? In, in Rio, here, everywhere. But I won't take you until I've been there first. And dude's like, yo, you went over there? I'm like. Yeah, bro. Right, right. <laughs> By myself, because something happened to me. Is what it is. But I ain't gonna let something happen to you. I definitely have insurance policy. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like I'm not scared. I just, I just don't fear stuff like that. And you gotta understand something. All right. So when I was growing up, I went through a lot of shit. We, we talked about it before. So there was a point in my life as a teenager, as a teenager, where I kind of really didn't care about life no more. I was more like, man, I wish this stuff would, you know, Job. I wish this stuff would end. What was me? All that, you know, going through my little. My little growing up phase. I went through a lot. I grew up fast. And I had a conversation with a real, with an OG of mine. And I knew he was one of the wildest dudes in the hood. 
And so he knew I, you know, I, was, I was a wild little man. So he came to me and was like, you know, you wild as hell, but you got to calm down. Now I'm looking at him like, you wild as hell. You told me calm down. And he would say to me, I don't fear death. I fear everything before it. And I was like, damn, I'm going through everything before it. I got that line. Um, it's called life because you got to live it. All right. So at the end of the day, we go through things, right? So I'm not afraid that something happens to me. I'm afraid if you whip me and something happens to you. Because that was my responsibility. You know what I'm saying? So I go places. Like I said, I got locals in places. They be like, yo, you really went there? I'm like, yeah. What up? Like, you know what I mean? My first time in Santo Domingo in Haina, one of my good friends was like, he's like, yo, bro, you know there's no police over there, right? I was like, I, I, I ain't telling nobody. He's like, no, bro. If something happens, there's no police. I was like, ain't nothing gonna happen, bro. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? But like I said, I just move. I'm, I, I move differently. Uh, Douglas said, y'all saw what FBI picked up the the Liborn dude in DR that was over 20 years after killing his DJ in Fort Lauderdale that he found his extra. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, did he pick that? I didn't pick him in DR. I, I had no idea. No idea. Tom Meister should shout out to you, bro. No pullout boys. Save that. Listen, subscribe right now. Hit, I'm going to give y'all a second. So hit that notification bell because I don't know when I'm going to post and when I'm, I'm going to do this video. It's going to be alive. But it's going to be alive. You may want to watch. Because I've been holding off on this live because I'm like, some people may stop talking to me after I, I, I speak on this, but you know I tell the truth. And I said, I think there's some things that need to be said because, like I said, I live reckless, but some of y'all live in reckless. All right? Y'all wilding out for real. Angry bus drive in the building, my bro. What's good? BK Chess and homies over homes. <laughs> Track and field 1906. What's good with you? Were you running track and field in 1906? I'm just curious. Like, if you if you were, thank you very much for watching the show. <laughs> I'm looking like 1906. Jesus Christ. You like, thank you, bro. Or, or does that mean the 19th of of uh June? <laughs> My bad. Because <laughs> if you were running track and field in 1906, I appreciate you watching. Or listening. It may be, I don't know if you're blind. I don't know. Salute to you. Definitely appreciate that. You might, you might have been a nurse home with my aunt. She, you know, she died at like 111. So maybe y'all watch it together. I don't know. Appreciate you though. Big salute, uh, Jaws. And I've learned a traveling game to go where people don't like to go. Seems I had the best time, Jaws. Thank you. That's why I'm always somewhere else. I'm gonna go to the spots that everyone talk, the, the Negro talk about. Yeah, I'm gonna go to that spot. 100. percent Gotta show my face. Gotta kick. I call shaking hands, kissing babies. But then I'm going to go to the spots that nobody want to go to. That spot, Androgen, that, that is now like the after-hour spot. Well, it always was the after-hour spot. But a lot of people go to now, or space and all that clothes, I was already in there years ago. Already in that spot years ago. Now it's like crazy, but I was already in that spot years ago. And it kind of always was the after-hour spot. We'd be there early during the regular time. Then after hours, it get a little cracking. But I was already going to that spot years ago. And it is in a dangerous neighborhood, which is why they pick you up and bring you there. Um, but you know, it is what it is. You want to have a good time, boy. Definitely boycott flip flops and support the locals, please. Corey said, Been watching for a while. We'll be in town Friday for a week, celebrating the 40. Well, happy early birthday to you, and definitely pull up, man. I'll be here. Definitely happy early birthday to you, Corey. Uh, I say, Yeah, but the shooting range there, too. I don't know, show up. Travel guard, shout to four by four. We was in four by four the other night. Damn, they got blackout drunk. Uh, wow. Big shout to uh, B, aka Pablo, real Pablo, for buying them uh, Smirnoff. It was, my, it was my favorite drink, but we had been drinking all day. That Smirnoff almost killed me. I ended up, <laughs> we ended up in multiple clubs and vaguely remember. So I'm meeting B on the beach. He goes, he goes, yo, bro, what club we go to? I said, I woke up with two wristbands. <laughs> I said, I woke up with two wristbands. Of, of other clubs. I'm sure we were there. They didn't just give us a wristband. Uh, Daryl said, you're impersonation of the guy drugged in the street. But I, I'm serious. He was sitting in, yo, in these medic, there's groups called Medellin Drugged and Robbed. Three groups. I'm in all three. I don't know how I got in the first one. And they post every day. So like I said, some of this stuff ain't being reported to the police. Some people just get embarrassed and hop on a plane and leave. Or when they get their senses together, because after that scope of me, you out of it for a while. When they get their senses together, they hop on a plane, they just get embarrassed and they bounce. Trust me when I tell you, I see this stuff every day on, the, on these pages. And I'm not happy about it. It's more like, 
I'm telling you guys, it happens more than you think. It happens more than you hear about. Oh, so that's definitely good. I mean, like I said, I was showing you guys the color. I'm going to go chat at that. I just feel like eating just yet, having my first drink. Uh, BK Chef is not too dark. I, I Maybe the sesame seeds, yeah, but that's the color I wanted, honestly. And it's that thick teriyaki. I ain't like that loose teriyaki. Kamari the Blader, bro, when is your next group trip? Oh, we're going to Cartagena May 1st. Then we're doing uh, Vegas. I think Freeze pulling up to Vegas. A few weeks. Uh, two, two weeks. Yeah. But we're traveling, bro. 2024 is wild. It's going to be a wild time. <laughs> Expect, hey, look, it, it's like double touch catching me here flip flop. <laughs> uh, B, there you go, there's my man B Clem. He said, Extending my stay in Rio for a week, you mother effer. And me and Steve was gonna extend too, you know that? We was gonna extend. Big shout out to Pablo B. That's Pablo B right there. So you extended for a whole week, damn. J Ma, what up? Uh, Joel says, Some people expect Michelin restaurant presentation from, and I, I respect it, but I mean, <laughs> I'm doing my best here, man. <laughs> Hey Joe, I'm doing my best. Like you know, what I mean, I gotta give good food or good looking food. I gotta. I decide to give good food. Try to make it as good as possible. Uh, Free society. So you'll tell the chat about what the Uber driver said to you once you found out you were going to Vegas. <laughs> 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 <Hey. laughs> so we booked the Uber. All right, this is funny. It was free your asshole. So we booked the Uber, right? So we like Vegas. So he, we get in the car and he's like. He's checking. He's like, William, like he's looking at the street. He, he's saying to himself, nah, y'all can't be going here. So I was like, yeah, William Mimosa. He goes, you going to, you going, why would you go there? <laughs> he was talking some other shit, but he was more like, y'all going to, remember he let us over the corner. He was like, y'all dead. I ain't going there. He really looked at us like, y'all going, what y'all doing on that side? That shit was hilarious. He said, shout out to No Conning. Hey, stay tuned for the show. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell because I'm going to post it up. I don't know what I'm going to do it, but when I go, I'm going to definitely do a nighttime live because it's going to be very, very interesting. The things I got to say. Condoms are the next show coming up. Uh, George said, don't too many people like using rubber abroad, plenty of pregnancy. Uh, George, save that for the show, baby. Save that for the show. Oh, it's going to be a wild one. Bert Ross in the building, my brother, Air Miles Bert. I think he's somewhere in Asia. We got to get a little map and just throw darts at where we hope he is right now. Y'all, I like going to flex. Yeah, we, me and you know it's funny. Me and Steve were gonna extend, but I said I gotta get back, and luckily I did. Dealing with a little BS drama, so I got stuff going on, man. So, unfortunately, I gotta make sure I'm here. Uh, come, excuse me. Tra oh, Dragonville. I said no. I was just curious. I was curious, bro. I'll be back in soon on June 5th. I'll be here, baby. Well, a lot of people travel. I, well, I used to travel by myself, but now, you know, obviously we travel with groups and stuff. Steve O is my travel partner. You know what I'm saying? I got my guys I travel with. Or, and some of the guys that pull up. You know what I mean? And I got to see the chat, uh, my bro. I didn't see it. King Sands says, shout out to the 13 Ghosts. Yeah, shout out to the 13 Ghosts. <laughs> AK Boycott Flip Flop hashtag. Uh, Jesse said, I'm going to keep it real flip. I like your spot. Price is good. Food service and the vibe always cool for me. Plus, your spot is chica free for the most part, which is a good thing for me. And I appreciate that, bro. And I kept it that way for a reason. I got chicks coming to eat, come and drink, but there's no reason to have girls just sitting around. I'm, I'm not with that. That's not, I don't, I don't get into that type of business model. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I got, you know, all the chicas know me. I kick it with everybody. They're cool, but I don't need, um, I don't need to make my business about chicas. You dig know what I'm saying? And there's other businesses that do it, but I don't I don't condone it. I've actually told some business owners, hey, I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, but each his own. You know what I'm saying? I'm focusing on one thing, they focus on another. <laughs> Gringo number three, I'll see you soon, my bro. Uh D Malo said, red bumps on your lips if you kiss the cheek and red bumps on your mouth. <laughs> Make sure you tuned in, my brother. Make sure you tuned in. I expect you to be tuned in. Travel guards, I expect nothing less from you, bro. He said, I'm pulling up as a guest. I expect nothing less, my guy. Matter of fact, I will do StreamYard, too. I'm going to talk my shit for a while. Matter of fact, thank you. I'll do StreamYard. I'll talk my shit for a while and then get you guys up in there. But, um, yeah, at the end of the day, man, you know, be safe anywhere you go. Even not just Columbia. 
be safe in New York. Be safe in Brazil. You know what I'm saying? To me, Brazil is more dangerous than any of them. But outside, that's outside of Copacabana. Okay. Um, Brazil's in Copacabana. You're very safe. But I tell guys, you know, be safe everywhere you go. You know, Colombia people are just going to a wasting face. So they, they lose common sense of what's going on in front of them. They focus on the chicken, not focusing on, hey, let me be, be smart. You know, in New York, back in the day, all they did was drug people at the bars. You know, I told a story once at the bar. How, what's up, fella? Hey, what's up, baby? How I almost beat somebody up at a new bartender I saw at a, at a bar was at. This is the hood bar. You know the drug dealer bar. All the, 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 the hood, the hood boogers go to. And there was a new bartender. And the first thing I said was, homie, I don't know you. Make sure. And he looked at me like, who the fuck you? I said, if son get in my drink, you watch what happened. Because, you know, we, you, I'm used to it. You know, they drug him motherfuckers left and right back home. So that's nothing to me. But unfortunately, it happens. And so, you know, I, I can't apologize for the world, but I'm sorry it does happen to those guys it happened to only because I knew they thought they were, they were, they were above it. No one's above it. It could happen to me. Knock on wood, it hasn't. It could even happen to me. I'll never put myself above something happening like that. David T, what up? Def yeah, be safe. In, yeah, be safe in the states. Facts, right? Be safe in the states. I can't. Even, I couldn't. I should shut up. Be safe in the states, rather. Forget traveling. Uh, be back on the side. Be down in June. Looking forward to stopping us. I appreciate it. We'll definitely pull up. Definitely pull up. Yeah, it's called a roofie. Thank you. It was roofie, motherfucker, left and right. When Cardi B said she's a drug motherfucker, that was real. Like I felt that because I already know about it. You know. Biggest thing was when you walk in them hood bars, you always watch, you always want to get, get to know your bartender. Because when you came back, you want to make sure you're the same bartender. So I went to spot one night, and I think it was on Merrick Boulevard, I believe. And I think it was the Merrick Boulevard one. And the bartenders I knew weren't there. So I'm like, oh boy. So the first thing, you know, back then, you know, we all wilding. And so you might have a dude who don't like you sitting at the other side of the bar, ready to pay the bartender to get you, get you drugs. So you got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Your enemy sometime right next to you. And I'm like, hey, bro, we don't do that. You know what I'm saying? We don't do that. And he got mad, but then someone put a bug in his ear, like, yeah, hey, don't, don't play with the young boy. And, you know, it was all good. We actually became cool after that. But I was, and he told me he was at, later on down the line, like years later, we, we kicked it. Uh, like I said, we got cool. And he was like, yeah, we, you know, what was going on? You wasn't wrong, but I had, to, I had to stand up to you. I'm like, all right. You know what I mean? So we're used to that. That's just, that's normal hood stuff, in my opinion. Uh, George said, even the Tallahassee. Yes, yeah, so I said, no, to me, normal hood stuff. That just happens everywhere. Um, that's why I was tripping when I was in Paraguay. I hope I said that right. Paraguay. Because many people being reckless with drinks. Yeah, and that's, that's, bro. The bathroom is one of the most nastiest places in the world. You could bring food or alcohol. That's why certain places that have bathrooms by their kitchen, I won't eat there. And I'm talking about anywhere in the world. If I see a bathroom by your kitchen, I'm not eating there. I'll bring this drink inside of a bathroom. And the bathroom's nasty as hell. Particles everywhere. I'll do that before I leave it. I'll, I'll drink some. I'll drink some bathroom particles before I leave my drink. Well, seriously, leave my drink around somewhere I don't know. Oh, like his is a wild part. So this is my man right here. I'll be like, I'll put my drink in front of his. Yo, hold his there. It's like fuck your drink. Guard mine with your life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, uh, dude, my dudes be like, I don't don't touch your drink till my drink is safe. Like you know what I mean? Hold me down, homie. Like I know I could trust him. Hold me down, homie. Yeah, at all costs. Even at a cost to you. Like, <laughs> if you get drugged, my bad. Recover my drink. DJ logo. I can't give it all away, but I will say there will be some wet t-shirts around. I was almost that. It's gonna be. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that. In order, in order to see everything, you gotta be there, or you can watch the video when Free Society decides to put it out 17 years later. <laughs> You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you should always protect yourself anywhere you go. You know, um, and I'm a drinker, so you ain't got much time to drug me. By the time I put this shit down, there's about this much left, and I go, "Oh man, it's a little bit. Oh, give me another one." And I, I drink it down. You know what I'm saying? No ditty. Okay, so at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> my drink ain't, ain't sitting down out of my hand long. Like I'm doing this talking, you gotta be real slick. You gotta, you gotta jump shot that shit in. <laughs> I'm doing this talking. Yeah, yo, Dave. Is, uh, yeah, man. Where are you to the next? You got my shit moving. <laughs> Watch me when I'm out. My drink never sits still. So they gonna you. You gotta, you gotta be good with it. You gotta, you gotta be like, eh. and hope you catch it. Like I'm, I'm too. And not that I'm doing it 
like I'm trying to avoid getting drunk. I just, when I'm talking, I'm moving my hands, got my drink, you know what I mean? Order my next drink, you know what I'm saying? So, you gotta be good. You gotta be Steph Curry with it. That's all. And like I said, it can happen to anybody, so I'm not gonna say I'm above it. And if it ever happens to me, which I probably won't, I will definitely tell you guys. I'll be honest with it. You know what I'm saying? But I need all you guys to hit that like button. We got 100 some people in here, only 60 likes. Hit that like button, please, my guys. I didn't do Sunday service. Had to check in with you. Yeah, you got to be curry with the roofie. All right? And once again, big shout out to Drake. I, I, call me, um, oh, someone said it earlier. Grey Goose Poppy. Because uh, I feel just like Drake. The homies rock with you. They love you. Then they turn on your ass. And they got to team up. Cause they can't do a dolo. I love it. I feel like Drake out this motherfucker. And like, like my man, like my man says, I got sucking niggas recruiting sucking niggas. No, I got fuck niggas recruiting fuck niggas. I love it. Bill D says, speaking the truth, if I'm not with family or friends, my drink goes with me. And that's that's what I'm saying, Bill D. That's me. All day. I got no reason to put my drink down. Now here's the fun part, because I've done this, and it happened to a friend of mine who's been there years and years. I've given my drink to a young lady I'm with. Right, like I'm, I'm with, we're, we're together. Like, not just some chick I met in the club. Like, we've been kicking it. I'm with her. She's probably staying at the crib, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And I'll give her my drink, or tell her make me a drink. Now, it happened to a friend of mine, but I said this to him. And like I said, I'm not putting myself above anybody. I said to him, one, you got too comfortable. Number one. But two. She didn't fear you enough to, and he knew this girl way longer than I knew a, a chick I was dealing with. I was like, too, she didn't fear you enough to think that if I get caught out there by this dude I've been kicking with for a long time, what the repercussions may be. You dig what I'm saying? And he was like, well, I said, that's the problem. She didn't fear the repercussions of, of, of her doing it to you. Chick I deal with, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about at the time when I was, not when it happened to me, when it happened to him, chick I was dealing with in the same situation. Um, she, I'm not, not that she drugged me, meaning same situation, meaning I gave her my drink because I, I was with her for, you know, kicking it with her. I said, the difference is if she drugs me, it's scorched fucking earth for her. Straight up. She better never be in that area again. Ever. I pay like I wait for shit like that. I said, the girl you dealt with, she didn't, she, she back out there hanging out again. Because she didn't feel no repercussions. Because she know you saw. You my man. You my man. I love you. But you saw. And he's like, nah, you right. And I said, that's the problem. I said, I ain't got to talk too much. I said, a chick see how I'm around among my dudes or just walk in a building and see how I am with people. It's going to be scorched motherfucker hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you did that to me and I trusted you for the, even that small moment of time, if you did that to me, I feel a way about it. I, I take it personal. You feel me? Uh, Douglas said years ago I went to a bar next to Penn Station. Oh, Penn Station, Jesus, with a pretty female co worker. Drank one beer, went back to the station to take a leak. Next time I'm picking myself off the floor. Yeah, hey, I, 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 listen, that's she in the city. Imran, what's good? What's good with you? Money travels, what up? Yeah, I feel you on that, especially, especially them bars in the city. And Wash, whatever he said, what's the best time to come to the beach with the most mangoes coming in three weeks? Uh, the best beach days are like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Especially Sunday, everybody's outside. Uh, as long as it's not raining, those are the best beach days. Meet up. Those are the best beach days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Beach, the beach is pretty cool every day if it's sunny. Um, But the best days with the most amount of people, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Especially Sunday. Sunday is always packed. On all the beaches and rivers and so and so. So you'll, def you'll, definitely, you'll definitely enjoy yourself out here. Definitely pull up. I'll be here. Um, at the end of the day, you, as long as it's sunny, the beach is gonna be packed regardless. Okay, so you ain't got much to worry about, you know. Uh, but I'm gonna get out of here. I'm glad you guys tuned in to Monday service. I'm right, really glad you guys tuned in. Um, like I said, stay tuned for the next show. Notification bell. Subscribe. A lot of people don't watch. They're watching. Not subscribe. Condoms is the next video. I'm doing a live. Oh man. It's going to be an uncomfortable conversation. But it's something we got to talk about. All right. And stay tuned. I'm excited about this live because some people may stop liking me after this live. Hey, people stop liking me every day. It is what it is. For every person that stopped liking me, 20 more like me. So I'm good with it. 
Um, but I love you guys, man. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget, Paradise Life dates are out there. May 1st, Cartagena. May 29th, Las Vegas. July 7th, uh, we'll be on the Paradise Life cruise. Before the cruise, we are actually going to be in Columbia again, bouncing around. I haven't put all the dates together yet, bouncing around. Um, then we have a couple more trips coming up, Thailand, Brazil again, stuff like that. I'll put those dates out when we are booked. Well, stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. Uh, be safe. They never look with Ted Collins. Say Gringo number five, Alejandro. See you soon, my guy. And uh, definitely, definitely see you guys soon. Stay tuned for the next live. It's going to be dope as hell. Peace out. Paul and Steve can't go no more.